is a fun day out. Nice roads. It, it was a great good day weather. out. Yeah, first day in Tilly Gorge, so that was nice to see. Um, that impressed me. Mm. And then obviously the bike massively impressed me. And it is one that I've thought of in the past, and it's one that's definitely caught my eye and I was curious of, but obviously they had their problems. Yeah. Um, so then you're like, well, I'm probably never going to get to ride one. And then they came back, and yeah, I'm glad to say that it lived up to expectations uh, in that it's, um, and I've said this to you as well, it's a bike that stuck with me quite long after the review and i think that's a sign that it really is one that you for whatever reason you liked it is when you find yourself two days later just pining after it and be like "Mm, yeah that was yeah it's sticking in the head and it's those soft words isn't it like personality character soul you know it does all of those things really really well and i think that is probably what leaves that lasting effect isn't it yeah yeah, no, well, it is actually, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you can get on a bike and be technically impressed by it and how impressive it is, but the longevity of your feeling with it is a feeling. It, it sticks with you in that sense. And we've also said in terms of whether you would sort of look to buy it, um, Logic doesn't buy that bike. Your heart buys that bike. Yeah. And it sounds cliche to say, but uh, and, it's, and it's a very hard thing to define, but you know it when you know it. On paper, it is expensive for what you get in if you're yeah. purely a spec sheet warrior as mm. i am it's mm. a professional spec sheet warrior <laughs> if you look at my youtube <laughs> channel True. um but yeah 16 and a half grand for something that puts out less than 80 horsepower 80 yeah. newton meters of peak torque you know those are similar figures to something like a speed twin 900 that was previously called the street twin and that bike's eight to nine grand i think you know nearly half the price yeah and so it does look like, yeah, a lot of money, but it's the fact that it's air cooled, push rod, vibey. It's really mm. quite loud. Uh, yeah. for, for a standard exhaust set system. Set off your alarm when you did it near your car. It's that set loud. Set off the car alarm, <laughs> revving it on the drive. And, um, all those sorts of things that combine to make it. And, and also the visual package as well. It just looks incredible. It's Nothing so, else um, quite looks like it. I love totally. the golden black. And I think that the, one of the best angles is that tail section, that tail light and um, seat hump. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it is. It's great. And again, like we said on the day, it's, it is a sensory experience. It is all of your senses, nearly all of you. No, it is all of your senses because you can taste it. Um, you didn't taste it, but yeah, it's a delight for the ears. Both the exhaust yeah. note and the sort of sound of the engine as well. It's a little bit like, yeah. obviously, not the smoothest sounding engine because it's air cooled. No. So you don't have that sort of water jacket around it that brings the sound down a bit. It's got. Mm. A bit of, yeah, vibes and sound to it. It feels good. Like it's mm. vibey. You feel like you're riding something special, maybe a little mm-hmm. bit historic. Yeah. It looks brilliant. Yeah. What are the other ones? Wait. Sound. Have we gone through all the senses? Is- <laughs> oh, smell. <laughs> smell. You can definitely it smell. It yeah. smell good as well. It yeah. smells a little bit petrolly, not in a yeah. necessarily like concerning way, but in quite yeah. a nice way. You know, the the sort of um, um, metal polish, petrolly, they, kind it's, of smell. it's got a unique smell and actually that's one of the senses that more quickly sort of puts you in a uh an era or you know in a memory yeah yeah it's sure. a really sort of quick route to that and actually it's like when i'm if i'm out riding with my dad and he's on his monster 750 for example riding behind it it, it has got a smell to it or you're like it, yeah it just it instantly like sort of takes you there <laughs> <laughs> yeah he he smells of metal and grease and yeah <laughs> that's not bad it could be worse yeah it's a nice odor to come out with i think yeah we both just came away from it feeling i mean i've had it for a couple of weeks i read it last year we've got it on yeah. load now but i just wanted a bit of a second opinion and almost someone else mm. just to have the joy of experiencing it as well because they're yeah you know low volume uh fairly rare bikes so probably yeah. if i've got one for a couple of weeks that's your best shot at, at riding one for for some time probably so yes. um it was just nice to go out and appreciate it and yeah. you know also it does go quite nicely you've got great yeah. suspension great brakes it, mm-hmm. it's a, a chassis that's set up to handle quite nicely it's a big contrast isn't it between the engine which yeah. is i think not to be unfair low performing as mm. in it's comfortably performing it doesn't feel like it's strained because they haven't tuned it to a way that it feels strained which is a good thing yeah um because it doesn't feel frantic in any way and then you've got like almost like someone has taken an original norton not that i've ridden an original norton but you know an older bike and they've upgraded the suspension and brakes which is something yeah. that you can do to old bikes um and you know it's got that 
it just feels really planted. And when we got on the good stuff and it dried out a little bit, I, I loved it. It was great fun. Yeah, it was a horrendous day of weather because there was a lot of rain the night before. So um, lots of debris on the roads, yeah. lots of wet patches where there was, um, you know, uh, cover from the from the sun. Yeah. And also even some massive puddles. So there was a couple of moments, weren't there? Yeah, there was, yeah, there was this one, just that one corner, which we knew going out, you found it quickly. And then I, I noticed it, uh, less abruptly on the way back. Um, yeah. but yeah, cold tires, standing water, inconsistent traction and stuff like that, where you can't really plan, you know, each corner is different. Uh, so not ideal, but we, both of us just sort of relaxed into it. It's the only thing to do on a day like that is just relax and take it for what it is. And I think I've also got to say as well, like, yeah, don't push it too much, but no. but also it doesn't. I, I, I'm almost backtracking on the power figures, but like it doesn't feel slow to me on on no. a, certainly on relatively tight, twisty country roads. Maybe on big yeah. open roads, it might feel a bit underpowered, but yeah, it's not a boring bike to ride at all. Um, mm. There's lots of charm to it, and it it has that real talkiness, sort mm-hmm. of in the mid range that. Just, yeah, it's plen- there's plenty there. It's satisfying. It's fun. Um, I, I, as for whether I'd actually buy one or not, I think that's a different question. I think it's a little bit out of my um, pocket, out of my budget, basically. But um, I don't know. What do you think, mate? Yeah, it's the same as you. I think if, uh, if, I mean, if I was realistically looking at it, it's never, I'm not in a position yet where I can, uh, buy a bike purely for fun. It needs to fulfill the practical needs that I, I have of a bike. And that wouldn't be my choice. But no, if I hypothetically had 16 and a half thousand pounds and I was looking at that type of bike, and I definitely would be looking at that type of bike if I had some pocket money, that would be high on my list actually after having ridden it. Yeah, but totally. I think it takes having ridden it to experience it to then, because otherwise you're probably always going to be looking at, you know, what's the logical choice. Yes. I think we're both dad bike owners because of our utilitarian needs and working on a bike and with a bike, you know, and traveling by motorcycle. Yeah. We both need something that's going to do the job. And again, you know, like I feel the same as you, if I was looking for a a weekend toy and I'm not someone who does track days or really fast riding. I want something, maybe I'm a a little bit of a nostalgic soul yeah. or I want something that just looks cool as well Mm. and has that old school swagger to it. It's really got to be up there. And if you're thinking of buying something like a Bonneville, but haven't sampled what a sort of more uh, vibey and yeah, the air cooled sort of vibe is like, then definitely Mm. check one out. In fact, I think I, I said the other day, um, it reminds me a bit of riding stuff like the air cooled um, Harley Sportsters and how soulful mm. and characterful those are. Mm. And then now they've moved over. Some of the engines for me just don't really do that. I mean, certainly the Nightster, when I reviewed that last year in the Sportster S, they they feel like a KTM, like a, a Super Duke or something. Right. And yes. And not so much like, um, you know, what, what I think people loved about them and, and yeah. you know that their hands been forced a little bit yeah um, by emissions regulations but they 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 do they just feel so much more like like it's a living breathing thing and i can, yeah. I can sort of understand why people give their vehicles names and stuff when they've got like old air cooled bikes yeah. although i don't do it myself no never have either myself uh mm. no just trying to remember if I'm, I'm lying to you all there no uh, it's it definitely of all the bikes that i've ridden there are a few of them that do feel um more i mean i'm not from that era i don't know it's you know my dad's era of riding a bike and it taking you back to oh this feels like my old bump you know insert bike here um and i've test ridden obviously new Bonnevilles and stuff and in the comments you do get people going oh you really need to try the old one you know they, yeah. they are different and this to me is is the one uh, if I was to attribute that classic feeling in a really nice way to any bike that I've ridden this probably has that the most this has it in spades um, and it's not a negative at all so in summary I think a bit out of budget for us but if you're <laughs> well off and like uh, yeah, characterful bikes. It has yeah. to be on the list. 